guys, I'm Michelle Wright with the Cow Whispers Creative Cards.com and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Oh, how stinking cute. Do you want to squeal? Makes me squeal. Way to goat. I hope you love this stamp set because you're going to see me using it quite a bit. These goats crack me up and I absolutely adore the sayings in this stamp set. Now, as you can see, I've made a bunch of them because I couldn't wait to do it, and I used it for a swap that I did. As always, in the top of the eye and below in the description, you're going to find links back to my blog post with all the measurements for this card, so no worries about writing anything down. I'll have it all right there, along with the links where you can grab these for yourself. Super simple card, bringing in a piece of scrap. Could not wait to play with the Seaside Spray with this, because if you look closely... Yes, my little goat. It has a little eyeshadow on. Oh, and if you're my age, remember the days. Remember the days when the flat blue eyeshadow was the thing. Now, I am just going to randomly stamp my goat down the side here just for some added oomph, shall we say. Uh, do them differently so they're not all exactly the same because they're going to be covered up obviously so I've got that done and while I'm at it that's my base I might as well go ahead well let's just set it aside for now let's set it aside for now but we do need that so now I've got this crumb cake layer in the middle I use the brick and mortar 3D embossing folder. Love it. Now, please note that this has got the bricks running uh, up and down instead of sideways. That's not a problem. Just turn your paper. Like for what I like to do is I use the line across here where it says Stampin' Up to line mine up. That way I can still take the folded edge and run it through my embossing machine. So there's my brick and mortar 3D piece of crumb cake. Love it, but I want to add some oh, texture, should we say? It's already got the texture, but I want that texture to pop. So I'm using a sponge, and I'm using my crumb cake ink. You see how that's popping that up? I want that in your face. Do as much or as little as you like. It's totally up to you. I'm really going to pop this one. So I'm getting busy with it. Oh yeah, liking that. Okay, so that was our crumb cake. So we can set that aside. Now, we need thick Whisper White. And I've grabbed myself a piece of scrap and I'm going to use my two inch circle and I'm gonna go ahead, just because I want to make sure I get my goat all the way in there, and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna punch that now. And while I'm at it, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to punch with my, what did I do with it? My one inch circle, or I don't, or I got you cake. Don't need thick for that, but I've got it here, so let's just use it. I got you a cake, but I ate it. Do you not love it? I got you a cake, but I, but I ate it. So we're going to bring that ink back in, and let's go ahead and do... I got you a cake, and we can just stamp that on there. Oop, that's off center. No, that's good with my little, oh no. Two sides to every piece of cardstock, you guys. Don't forget. Much better. I like that better. So I'm going to set that aside. And then on the inside of my card, while I've got my seaside spray out, let's go ahead and do but I ate it. I'm gonna put that here. I felt like this cardstock was light enough that I didn't need another layer, and I, but I do wanna use this tin can. Couldn't resist the tin can. We know goats will eat anything. Too stinking cute. All right, so we've got the base done. We can put our seaside spray away. So we don't forget, I've got my layer here for the background of my crumb cake. That's night and navy. 
We're gonna, we need these background layers. We're gonna take them right out of the center so we're not wasting any more cardstock. So just, that's the two and a quarter inch circle punch. And I'm gonna use a one and a quarter inch circle punch. If you don't have the circle punches, grab your layering circle dies. They have all these circles that I'm cutting with my punches. I'm just going ahead right now and I'm using the punches because it's just a little quicker for the video. So we're gonna go ahead and put this layer down. And I just had a, uh-oh, I didn't do something I needed to do. So, because I've gone ahead, and you see how I can lay that right down there and I don't have to worry because, <coughs> excuse me, I got a tickle. I wanna put my ribbon on here. This is my Seaside Spray linen ribbon and I think it is gorgeous and I'm just coming down oh an inch inch and a quarter or so I put some good adhesive down there I've put some fast fuse down there I'm gonna line this up I'm going over just a tiny bit this is the easiest way to do this and then come back that way I didn't take it off my spool cutting that from the back, just like that, okay? <clears throat> and I didn't have to worry about that sticking to my silicone mat. So now I can come in, you know what, let's, and you notice that way I didn't, also I did not fold it under because this linen, and I'm a little long, I'm not quite sure why that happened, but that's okay. Let's hopefully I got this the right. Oh, my blue is a little short. That's all right. We're going with it. We're going to go with it. So how are we going to handle that? We're going to trim this off right across the, the bottom. I will have all the correct measurements. I don't know what I did when I cut that. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to just kind of split the difference just like such and it'll be fine. Yes, it will but I'll have it edge to edge in the measurements. Don't you guys love it when Michelle does those things and you're like, oh, look, she's human. Yes, she is. So I'm gonna split this difference just like such. See there, where there's a will, there's a way. Yes, there is. Okay, Memento Tuxedo Black for our goat. Going to stamp it right there. Just like that. I love the looking off to the side look of this goat. It just cracks me up. So how did I color it? Well, I'm going to use the bronze for its horns in the blends and goats come in every imaginable color shape you met you name it they come in it and then i just decided okay it's going to have spots on it because many of them do and i put them in different locations just kind of followed some of the artists work Some over here. And I did a patch of it down here. And then I colored its legs also. I'm just barely, barely touching this with my blends. Alrighty. Got the gorgeous dark granny apple green for my grass. Make sure you go up behind its feet though because you you don't want it to look like it's standing in the air. This is one giggly, giggly stamp set and everyone needs a giggle. I know this farm girl loves to giggle over the critters. Okay, granny apple green. Then I'm going to add my eyeshadow, which is the Seaside Spray. Oh, I forgot. I got to get some 
spots on its head. And remember, this is my light soft suede. Got to have some up here. That gives it some personality. Especially on this little cow lick. That's what we'll call it. A goat with the cow lick. Gotta love it. Oh, and my last little bit is my light flirty flamingo for its cheeks. Eek. So stinking cute. So let's layer that up. On our night of navy that we punched out of the middle. So see, we didn't waste anything there. Didn't have to use up any more cardstock because no one can see it. Come down just a little bit. Put that in the center. I got you cake. No one will know that we had to stamp that on the reverse side. I'm gonna grab a dimensional, put it in the middle. Kind of pop that over to the side just like that. And how stinking cute is it? I got you a cake, but I ate it. Absolutely adore the Way to Go stamp set, and I hope you do too. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and click that bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. If you live in the United States and you're looking for an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to be your gal and sure appreciate your business. As always, I've listed two more videos at the end of this one that I think you may enjoy. I hope you have a wonderful day and happy crafting.